Drake more life. This is a good one. Uh, what should I talk about? Talk about my name, you know. <laughs> hey, 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 have a more drinks. It sounds a lot better. More, more tunes for your head top. This is the album where he definitely had a lot of UK sort of inspiration through it. Genius. Also, because he was signed to Skeptic. It's, it's a playlist. Let's talk about that first. So, so it's a lot. Some of the songs we had a Skeptic song. We had a Sanfa mm-hmm. song. Shit wasn't an album. A lot of people laugh at that sort of aspect, but I kind of like it because I feel like what we're coming to, we're going a bit more away from downloads and, and internet and it's going more towards Spotify playlists and, and streams. streams. Yeah. So it, makes, it actually basically. makes a lot of sense. And when you listen to a start to finish, I can understand it sounding more like a playlist than an album Yeah. because there's not really any sort of theme or connection. It's more just like, it's more the music that plays through and it kind of keeps changing. Drake sort of like molds his way through it. So I think that what he did was a playlist and everything was like spot on. Like I'm, I'm, I'm with him with that. You like the concept? I love, that? I love the concept, and I think that since he's done that, more, more artists can do the same thing. Because I think we're leaning towards that. Yeah, sure. Like I, most, like I feel like the albums haven't been as impactful as she's been more for singles, man. Like I feel like singles were really big around sort of like the, the late '90s, and then towards the 2000s, mid 2000s, 2000s, like late. It got more towards albums, and people were more into albums. But I feel like. At the moment, like it's it's gone back to the more single drivens because singles are just so big right now. I don't really have an opinion on that. I can't say, mm-hmm. but um, there's 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 track. I feel now these there's, there's tracks on this album that really hit hard that he's going to perform in his concert, which I'm going to be going to in Melbourne very soon. I can't wait for it. Like the Gal Galchester, like the um. I can't even remember some of them, so that's how. There's a lot. Me, I'm about to oh, yeah. Blow. Yeah. Watch out for me, I'm about to blow. Oh shit! Uh, and passion fruit, yeah. Passion fruit's my fucking jam. Yeah, stuff like that is great. Yeah, I, I think I still feel. Actually, no, I think I like it more than when I first heard it. Because I think when I first heard it, like. There were tracks that I really didn't like and there were tracks that I quite enjoyed. But over time, the more I've listened to it, the more I understand it. I think I like, instead of liking half up, I think I like a good three quarters of the album now. So I've actually gone back to it a fair few times. Because it's got it's got your bangers, it's got your sophomore melodic. It's basically Drake to a T. He, he just gives you both sides of him. That's what they doing, Cam. They acting like these singers, man. I ain't, I ain't going to the studio until I got a situation, a subject. I need a beat, I need a producer. Who, who gonna be on the hook? Man, what did you done? 